everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a sort of an eating show, I guess, because I bought sushi. So I got a lot more food than what I usually get. I usually just get one roll, but just wanted to make it a bit more interesting for you guys. So I got a little baby avocado roll, some seaweed salad, and a king prawn roll as well. And I got heaps of ginger because I'm obsessed with ginger. Sorry if you don't like ginger. And yeah, I feel like you guys are really far away from me, but I guess it's good that you can see the food. Oh, man, like this place where I get my sushi from is sort of not far away from my house, but like a 10 minute drive. And I am so impatient. When I pick up food and I have it sitting in the car, and I have to wait till I get home to eat it. It's a bit crazy. Like I'm at speed to get home because I just want to eat my food so badly. So yeah, this is seaweed salad. I know this is a bit of an unpopular um, choice of food, but I didn't get a drink. <sighs> so how have you guys all been? I feel like I haven't made a video in so long. I haven't uploaded in like a week and a half. I was going quite strong there for a while, uploading quite consistently, but I've honestly just lost ideas. Like I find it really hard to come up with ideas lately. I don't know why, but yeah, I just never know like what sort of videos to do, like what sort of videos would be enjoyable and stuff like that. I know the sorts of videos that I want to film, but they, again, like I said in my last video, they just cost a lot of money and I just can't really afford to do that so sorry for my couple of people that actually watch my videos <laughs> but yeah yeah um, this is such a perfect role this one mm. seems you guys need a little bit more that's better oh my god that's so good yum i've been so hungry today <sighs> I usually only get like a veggie sushi roll, so this prawn is so good. I have still not found a housemate for that room that I want to rent out and it is it's been a challenging time trying to find a roommate. I have someone coming to look at it tomorrow, so hopefully that goes well. Um, excuse me, but what is that? That looks like a weed that's just been picked out of the garden. <laughs> that's a bit weird. But yeah, so hopefully that goes well. Hopefully I like her. And that can be settled because... I feel like I've just been trying to find someone for so long and it's just, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to be this hard. I thought I'd find someone in like literally a week of like posting the ad on Gumtree. But, no. Seaweed salad's good too. <sighs> what else has been going on in my life? Not much. Pretty boring to be honest. Pretty boring. With this whole movement that's going on at the moment with Black Lives Matter and everything like that, obviously I don't live in America, so it's sort of hard for... Obviously we know here in Australia that that sort of stuff happens because it happens here as well. The racist things, and like in particular with police officers and... Look, there's always been racism, it's always been an issue. And it's really good that people are focusing on it now and like protesting and really trying to make a difference with this whole thing it's so great and i watched this show on netflix the other day pretty sure it's called the 13th or something or the 13th act something like that it's a new documentary on um netflix i should probably get the proper name but i will write it down below if i remember but watching that really made me understand the whole concept of it a lot better because to be honest like you can be pretty sheltered from things that you're not experiencing 
personally so watching that show really helped me to understand the whole situation and just how like insane it is really and how much the government and everyone has shaped the way of people's thinking for these people to be treated in such an appalling way so yeah it's a very interesting show and if you guys because i know there's quite a lot of us out there that like understand it but don't really and you know don't know what it's like and watching that show really like opens your eyes up to it so wanted to let you know about that i'm gonna try some of the avocado roll obviously it's quite plain it's literally just avocado but look how cute it is <laughs> Mm. Yummy, but not as good as my prawn, sorry. I didn't mention that at the start, but I actually have no idea how to use chopsticks. You guys must have thought I was so weird before eating my seaweed salad, because I just think it, it's normal, but it's definitely not. I don't pull apart the chopsticks, I leave them together and like, pinch the salad and eat it like that. But yeah, for the sushi and stuff, I just eat it with my hands, because... I just can't get my head around using chopsticks, so I guess I've never really like tried hard enough. My sister's really good at it, but I'm just terrible, so that's why I do this technique. For anyone out there that can't use chopsticks, just leave your chopsticks stuck together and you can use that as like a tweezer. Things have finally basically gone back to completely normal here um, in Australia and in Sydney in particular. Basically, like everything's back to normal this week, so it honestly didn't go for as long as I thought it would, and it also wasn't like I don't know, I thought it would be really bad until next year, to be honest. I thought like I wouldn't be going out for a dinner or any sort of social setting like that until next year, but it's happened a lot quicker than I thought, which is a good thing, but hopefully, it's not happening like too fast might actually book a dinner tomorrow night me and julian are hopeless we like don't think about booking things it's just on the day we're like oh we should do that tonight but because everything's been closed obviously everyone's really excited to like book for dinners and go out for dinner and stuff so probably everything's booked out now This is so weird just like talking to myself, like I'm trying to come up with things to say. Like I'm so boring, there's nothing else to really say. Hopefully you just enjoy watching the food. I can seriously watch mukbangs where people just don't talk, they're just eating food. But that's because I'm obsessed with food. I was meant to be going to Bali in August, but I'm assuming that still won't happen. I hope so. I hope it doesn't happen. I hope my flight's cancelled. I hope we get our money back. Because even if the flight wasn't cancelled, like I really do not want to go to Bali right now. But yeah, I just still don't want to go overseas. Like I just think it's a bit too soon to be doing that. So. Hopefully the flight is cancelled. We could just do a little trip at the end of the year or instead of going overseas because I just wouldn't be... I don't know, I just don't think it would be the same in Bali after this whole thing. I feel like it's going to need a little while to rebuild itself. I know that they've struggled with it quite a bit. Oh, I'm getting full actually. I'll have one more prawn one and then I think I am done. I'm so full. I haven't eaten all day, but I don't know. I think because I've been eating slowly, it actually fills me up faster. I mean, what? Because <laughs> I'm eating it slowly, my stomach can actually adjust and realize that it's full. Where usually I eat like an animal and eat really, really fast. You know what I've been doing a lot lately and I do not know why? All the time when I drink water, even food, anything, 
it's been going down like the wrong pipe every time like I've been breathing it in all the time and I don't know why it's like I'm going through a phase where my throat just doesn't know how to swallow it's very bizarre but like today at work I was like having a coughing attack because I was choking on my water and it was very embarrassing okay so I haven't finished it all but that can just be for later but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry if it was boring like I don't really have that much interesting stuff to talk about to be completely honest and I also don't have questions to answer so it is what it is hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me eat and I'll see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do and please like this video as well if you enjoyed it all right thanks guys and see you later bye